This is the total eclipse in all its glory. The sun's corona shining like a halo around the shadowing moon. And over the earth, an uncanny midday darkness. The horizon streaked with orange and gold in one of nature's rarest and most splendid cosmic spectacles. The eclipse's zone of totality made a stately progress across the United States, from the rugged, rocky coast of Oregon to the gentle, sandy shores of South Carolina. And everywhere in its path, millions of people waited with excitement, protective glasses at the ready. And when the moment came, cheers and cries of delight rang out. The totality lasted for only about two and a half minutes, but for the millions of people who gathered to watch it in towns and cities, campgrounds and cornfields all over the United States, it was an unforgettable experience. A young New Yorker who journeyed to Wyoming. I don't even have words to describe that. That was so, so cool. Did live up to expectations? Blew them away. A family who traveled to Casper all the way from Italy. And it was absolutely amazing. We really like it. We really loved it. A high school student and budding astronomer from California. This is going to turn into a very interesting school project. Scientists were also out in force to study aspects of the sun still shrouded in mystery. When the sun gets blocked out, you can see the corona and it's not a really well understood region of the sun. Now in this era, we can make amazing uh, eclipse observations that we never could before. In centuries past, before the phenomenon was scientifically understood, people greeted solar eclipses with fear and anxiety, considering them omens of disaster. But on this day, in a nation badly divided by politics, race, and social issues, millions came together to gaze heavenwards, united for a moment in awe. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Casper, Wyoming.